But the third part of it, and the most important part of it for me as a leader, this, I think this is absolutely key in terms of the leadership of innovation, is when we don't do the value step, is when we get novelty going straight to practice. You know, so I've, put the, I've talked about it there in terms of the burgers. You know that activity that we did before, the taboo activity with the cards and the, in the pencil cases? You could do that, and you could take that to your, take that to your schools and, and do that. And I've seen people do that. I've seen, uh, working in um, northern New South Wales, we did, a, we did a, a series of professional learning with some teachers there. And one of the teachers came back and said, my kids have got really good at that. We do it every lesson. And they oh. What are you doing? You know, I talked about the principles and the ideas and, do, and you know, getting those ideas going. And what they'd done was they just took the activity and just did it. It was just another activity. They had this big bag of activities and they'd just taken it and just chucked it in that bag and then got it out every lesson and did it again and again and again. And, and it's a burger because it's a takeaway. You know, it's that thing that you can take away from PD and just, and just do in your classroom. Um, and... You know, I think I might use this metaphor before and I'm stretching the metaphor a bit, say, but you know, you can't live on takeaway. Takeaway is okay when you, re, you know, when things are going wrong and you just need to have, you know, get food organized, when you just need to, you know, get going and have something to eat quickly. But day to day, you know, the nutri you need to think about the nutritional value of your diet and just doing takeaway doesn't give you that kind of nutritional value across the board, just doing lots and lots of activities. And so when we're, um, when we lose that step where we're saying, well, what's the value of this? We're just doing activities. Um, we, we talked earlier, somebody talked earlier about, you know, grabbing at tasks, you know, the PDs, but, oh, yeah, we'll do that task, we'll do that task, and we'll do that task. But if they're not valuable tasks, if they're not meaningful tasks, then we're just, we're just wasting our time. That step of the value is the step about, you know, what's going on in the Australian curriculum and how we make the most of it for, in South Australia. What's the value of it? What's the value of the early years learning framework? What's the value of maths education? What's the value of history education? And as leaders, it's that value step, I think, that's the, the hardest one to, to really get going. And you know, my last example, though, is the use of technology. We see, we see it all the time. You know, I've seen, you know, when, when iPads were really kind of coming out, so not this region, another region I'm thinking of, so groups of principals saying, um, at, at lunchtime in the conference, in the regional conference, saying, oh, what apps have you got? You know, <laughs> oh, God. Instead of saying things like, okay, so if we take on board, I don't know, if we take on board John Hattie's, take on board John Hattie's work and say, okay, so quality feedback. How are we using technology to improve the quality of feedback that we give to the kids? You know, what, what is it that matters? What is it that really makes a, a, a difference in education? And how do we use the technology to achieve that thing? What, but and that's where the novelty, value, and practice come together. But what we see is, time and time again, that technology is pushed onto us by vendors and others without the value bit. And we just go from the novelty, the new technology, straight to practice. And when we look at reviews from around the world, you know, in terms of learning technologies, um, you know, those, those technologies that purport to teach kids maths, those technologies that purport to teach kids literacy, on the whole, around the world, when you do these reviews, they don't. The, the, the effect size of those kinds of technologies are really, really close to zero. Where the effect size starts to go up is where the, the technology interacts more with the teacher. And where it goes up even more is where the, where the teacher decides how to wield the technology. So that purposeful use of the technology, the stop and think about the value of the technology, why would I use this technology? not driven by the technology, but by driven by my learning values and driven by my, my pedagogical needs. How does the technology serve that? That's when the technology starts to have a, a bigger effect size. So, you know, so through today, I think hope what you'll have seen, the intention of today was that through the workshops, through what we'll talk about for the rest of the day, through the, what I was talking about this morning, it's ways of informing what are the things that we value, what are the criteria that we're going to use as leaders in education to make sure that when we're innovating, we're making sure that we're hitting all of these things, that we've got the novelty, so we've got that newness, but we're also constantly checking on the value. What's the value? What's the value to me? How do I make it work? How is it going to work for me? How do I extract the maximum value out of it? And then, how do I put it into practice? Because real innovation requires every, every single one of these steps.